Hello team and welcome to our first practice distance learning. Hope all of you are doing well during these crazy times. I thought we'd begin by reviewing what we did at practice last week, uh, especially since some of you weren't able to attend. And so what we'll do is take a look at the rules of debit and credit and do some review of accounting, which is really going to be necessary as we go through and prepare for this farm management test. So I've put together a Google Sheet that I'll share with you, also available there at Google Classroom, so you can click on that. And then you can go ahead and complete, complete that while you're watching the video. So if you were able to upload this, take a look at it as I go through it, we'll take a look at some accounts. And what we'll do is look at the normal balance of these accounts. Now these are known as T accounts and they're called T accounts because they're in the shape of a T. At the very top of the T is the name of the account. And then on the left side is the debit side and the right side is the credit side. And what we want to take a look at is the normal balance. And the normal balance of an account is the increase side of the account. And the increase side of an account can either be a debit or a credit depending on what type of account it is. So generally in accounting you don't say increase or decrease so much as we say debit and credit. And so what we'll want to do is learn the rules uh, for these accounts and then I've got a quizzes that we can practice here after we go through this. First of all I've got T accounts here for the classification of accounts. So there's assets, liabilities, and owner's equity. Those are the three basic categories of accounts. And then I've also put in here, just for reference, to remind us of the accounting equation, which is assets equals liabilities plus owner's equity. And so here are the fundamental rules as far as normal balances go. So you could go ahead and do this if you want. The left side is known as the debit side. This is the credit side. And so if you want, go ahead and put those in for all of these. It's always the same. Debits on the left, credits on the right. Now, once we have that completed, we need to memorize the normal balance side or the increase side. So for assets, they always increase on the debit side. Now, I'm going to use the word increase, but we're talking about it's the normal side. It means the same thing. The normal side of any account is the side on which it increases. Now liabilities, the increase side is on the credit side. So now the first thing to memorize are those relationships. How do you increase assets? Debit. How do you increase liabilities? Credit. How do you increase owner's equity? Credit. How do you decrease an asset? It's a credit. How do you decrease a liability? It's a debit. How do you decrease owner's equity? That is a debit. some reason when I did that paste there I lost my formatting. So if anybody wants to know how to do that I just use this little border tool right here and used a left border to put in that cell just so we have a nice clean T. 
So, I'm going to stop video one right here. You need to memorize that. Have that done. Test yourself. And then go and watch that video about debits on the left, credits on the right, which I think you will enjoy immensely. It's got a nice little song, a little jingle that will remain with you throughout the evening. I'd recommend you watch it two, three, or four times. And uh, you'll see what I mean. And then come back and click on the quizzes and practice that. And then we'll move on to the next video and talk a little bit more about these T accounts and the rules of debit and credit and how they apply to various types of accounts.